Hello and welcome to another CAD clip. In this quick demo we're going to show you how um, in our parametric house um, magic series will show you how to create a new conceptual uh, massing object loaded into a project which I'm in here and I do have my project browser turned off and my ribbon minimized but we're just in a regular sheet view of a project and I've inserted a conceptual mass back in 3D and I've copied it over and with that I can take advantage of some of the parametric parameters um, that I have put and associated to this conceptual mass and then when I copy it I can skin it with materials and copy it after or before it doesn't matter and what I'm demonstrating here is one conceptual mass um, skinned with the same objects but with constraints so that I can control the um, size of the conceptual mass and have the walls and floors and roofs update and I can change the height of, of the uh, walls and settings etc etc so these parameters are all built into this conceptual mass I can set the second floor height I can set the main floor height the foundation height the garage width and length the garage height the garage footing so when I click on this I'll show you I can select this um, conceptual mass and then I'll have some properties and as I change those properties the mass will update and then I simply tell all of my objects to update to that new face so this is an example here of carrying it all the way through there's my building A there's my building B this is my building A here this is my building B so I can create material takeoffs based on all this information of course my material takeoffs will update so if I zoom in here you'll see that I have you know building A and B I've got room schedule for each one so I've got you know the different rooms that I've only got just basic first floor second floor and garage created at this point and then I've got the areas of those spaces and total square footage so we can see here building B as far as plan has more square footage and then we can work down here we've got footing takeoffs for A and B so we've got 766 cubic feet here and 741 cubic feet there so I'm just tallying up material takeoffs foundation wall cubic feet of concrete you can see that uh, foundation wall A has a higher foundation therefore it has more cubic feet of concrete you can see this just has like a crawl space so Revit's doing all this for us um, plywood in the roof uh, shakes on the roof and the garage okay siding around the building the different siding controls uh, or totals and then up over here we've got more materials being sheathing for the wall so wall sheathing based on building A and building B and then of course we have a floor plan here demonstrates how we've got some different constraints some of these dimensions are locked etc if you lock every dimension along a string then you try to flex it it won't work so one of these dimensions at least has to be flexible or at least we can use the equal which will keep it centered so there's an example of one of the floor plans and here I'll just show you a quick demonstration of how this all works and we can copy this and make as many copies as we want I've just chose to to do it in this way so let's say our building A here, for whatever reason, we want to um, change its size a little bit. So we want to change the uh, plan dimensions of the building and the garage. And then watch everything update in all of our schedules. So it's this easy. We can click on here, and I'm driving this from a sheet. We can do this from any view we want. I'll activate this view. I'll pick on this parametric uh, conceptual object. I'll go up here, and I'll go to the properties of it you can have your ribbon show that automatically and then I've got some parameters inside of here so HS stands for house GAR stands for garage so house width is 35 feet let's change that to be you know 41 feet the house um, depth is 49 feet so you know we can make it smaller maybe we'll make it 46 foot you know 4.5 inches Okay. Then we've got the garage width is at 22 feet, so let's make it a little wider. Let's go 24 feet, and the garage depth is 26 feet this way. Let's shorten that up and make this only 22 feet. So just some plan dimensions. We hit OK, and the mass will update. Now we can right-click on here, and I can simply um, deactivate that view. Now I go down to my 3D view here, Okay, right-click, and I say activate the view. Now if I want at this point I can go up to my um, site and massing and say show 
massing and, and it'll show that so you can see temporarily you can see there's the differences in the mass object up over here and I'll just turn that off all I'm going to do while I'm activated in this view is I'm just going to do a big crossing box and grab everything okay note it grabs it up here use my great filter button here filter to uncheck that and grab only the walls and then go up to here and say update to face so now all my walls watch what happens Shazam everything updates these stay equal this stays all lined up properly inside of there right click and I say uh, deactivate the view so that's it I now have a new 3d view a new elevational view with everything in there all my schedules all my numbers if we would have taken note okay floor plan you can see here is wider representing our new 41 by 46 four and a half all of our doors are constrained to stay certain distances away this is constrained to stay centered this is tied to that corner everything is done up quite nicely and everything is driven from those parameters so that's all we have to do now is change this parametric conceptual object update our walls our, and all of our views and all of our um, schedules will all update with our new numbers now let's do a little bit with heights and there's one glitch um, heights don't quite work because levels don't really want to talk to the conceptual mass but there is a bit of a workaround so let's try changing some vertical distances click on this version of our conceptual mass and we can have as many as we want um, activate the view click on my conceptual mass and go up to my properties and let's change some heights let's say my second house um, second floor ceiling height is going to be nine feet and let's say my garage depth um, garage or house foundation house foundation height is at six feet just kind of a crawl space let's make it a full you know nine foot three which has room for a slab in there and then we'll also see that dimension change over here so nine foot three vertical and the floor to floor for my ceiling on my second floor is nine feet hit OK and we'll see this update those two top and bottom layers update right click and deactivate the view okay now all I have to do is click on this guy and activate that view grab all of these do my filter clear it walls only hit OK up to the top update watch my walls all update perfect everything updates right click deactivate the view so the only little glitch with vertical um, alterations is the building will update but the levels are not able to talk to that um, to the to the building maker objects or the um, conceptual mass so our last little thing we have to do to fix it up is activate this view in here and you see this roof is talking to the level and the level isn't communicating fully we're hoping for that maybe in the next release so I have a workaround all I have to do is go to my modify tool and I have some hidden reference planes back in the conceptual model and I can simply say align to here this guy and that'll update that level with this roof and I need to just go down here and tab to update this and that will give me my 9 foot 3 escape escape so um, right click deactivate the view so verticals we have one little fix up we have to do because we can't seem to get our level lines to talk to the conceptual massing um, procedures but the plan view ones are all working perfectly all while as I'm changing this okay you can be rest assured that all of the information that is being tallied up inside of here as far as cubic feet square footages areas and all that stuff is all being updated automatically because Revit of course stands for revise instantly so there's a great little demonstration on what we're going to teach you how to do from right from the ground up in our parametric house magic um, training video series.